So this is what we started with, GM. Moved on to the original ones from my sketchbook. And then we developed all these different ones here. Uh, and this is just a, a video of the process, uh, going through dismissing each of the individual ones and trying to find which is the best one to pick. Um, we start with uh, quite simple and weird ones. Um, so these ones, uh, trying to read women, but possibly don't. Um, so we're going to dismiss those straight away. These ones with different proportions uh, don't work either. And again, the proportions just, it doesn't help trying to read a uh, GM woman. Um, other ones, I don't like these ones that start here with a W. It looks like the McDonald's sign turned upside down. Um, also, these ones don't really read GMW but GNIN. Um, this one, the proportions don't really work. So we're going to turn those into as well. And again, I think these ones here, uh, just uh, the size and the complex of it don't really work. So they're going to go as well. Um, these ones here, I'll show you the rundown of these ones. This is where we started. Simple GMW. Slightly more conceptual. Move on to a bit of colour. Working out with the curve, what size of the curve to use, back to sharpness, a bit more of a line, see how that works. Moving it forward. Then we came to just using the line underneath. And again, just to finish there, that was that development. Um, I think these ones at the start. Uh, are a little bit too too hard and rough. So we're going to turn those in there. Um, come back to these ones. This is a another development. Start at the top there. It kind of works. So we look back at this one. Looks better with the proportions within the black. It's quite nice. This one doesn't really help. Again, these, the G's, doesn't really work. Turn those ones over. I think we'll just get rid of these ones as well. And that one, I'm going to leave that one just for now. Oh, and this one, again, just too complex and doesn't really help. Actually, that's the wrong way around, there you go. Doesn't really help. These ones do it. Again, this is one. Again, with the complexity of it, doesn't really help in the way of trying to read what it says. So these ones uh, are quite fun. Um, possibly they leave those for now. But to these ones. Not really sure if the line underneath works that great. About these ones. I think that works really nice where it fits again. That's sort of a development from either side, so we'll leave that on there. But again, these ones just too complex. Trying to use a different sort of colour. Again, sort of a development of those. But again, I think the one above works better, is stronger. These ones up here. Uh, I think again too complex and don't really help to be able to see that it reads GMW. Okay, so we left it. We can see it. I think I like this one the way the curve works. Uh, this doesn't work here with the uh, with the two curve and the point on the curve. Um, so we'll just get rid of those two. Um, sure about the two curves here. I think I prefer uh, the curve at the top. So we're going to get rid of that one as well. Again, that would get rid of these two as well. The two curves. These two. I still like the land underneath, the way that works together. Um, comparing it again with these two, I think I still prefer the other two.
So let's do this one. And these ones. And this one. You're going to really like the structure of that and the way it sits together, even though it's quite simple, it's basic. Um, but the way it sits together, it complements each other. This one's a little bit quirky, a little bit different. Um, but again, the way it sits and holds itself together is quite interesting. Um, I think possibly too much going on here. Uh, and again, the rigidity made it turn. And I think again, the same with these nice developments, we might try it or something else, but I think we're going to stick with this one. Uh, and this one, and I think this one's going to have to go as well. Um, which is quite nice considering that these two are almost a version of each other. I think what I'll try next is trying to curve on that um, and seeing how that relates to each other.